Hello, I'm John Bollinger. I'd like to introduce you to my Bollinger Band Toolkit on eSignal 12. Now this toolkit is available for other versions of eSignal as well, um, however the menu structure may be slightly different, but the general ideas will be applicable no matter what version of eSignal you are using. So let's get started. We're going to start by creating a new workspace with a new chart in it. So we'll click on the plus and then select chart and create and then we'll dismiss this dialog box. We're going to look at Twitter today, which is a symbol that has already come up. We want to look at this area over here, which is a three pushes to a high top. So we're going to expand the space between the bars so that we can see that area better. The first thing we're going to do is add some indicators to help us diagnose this top so that you'll have comfort in acting upon it. And the first indicator we're going to introduce is Bollinger Bands. So we're going to right click on the chart and we're going to select insert study. Now the basic studies that come with eSignal are here on the basic studies tab, but we're going to be using the add-on studies. That... So here's the Bollinger Band toolkit and we are going to select the middle, upper, and lower Bollinger Bands by pressing the control key and highlighting all three of these. We click apply and there we have our basic candlestick chart of Twitter with Bollinger Bands. The default width is plus or minus two standard deviations and the length of the calculation is 20 periods. We'll accept the defaults that came with the program. Now in order to move on we're going to add a couple more indicators. So the first one we're going to add is percent %B which is all the way up here at the top. Click apply and that pops percent %B on. The second one we're going to add is bandwidth click apply and that pops bandwidth on. And the third one we're going to add is MFI or money flow. And that's there. And click apply and now we're done with this dialog box. Uh, so here you see a, a, pr a price chart and the three indicators we've added. Percent B which tells us where we are in relation to the Bollinger Bands. Bandwidth which tells us how wide the Bollinger Bands are. And the money flow index which is an index that combines market momentum and volume. So we're going to start by shrinking these indicators down so they occupy less of the visual space so we can see the price chart better. We just hook the borders between these indicators and pull them down until we get a price chart that works for us here. So we're going to be looking at this central piece here. Three pushes too high. Actually, I'm going to space out the the chart a little bit more so we can really see what's going on there a little bit better. So this is the first push to a high. It's the momentum high. This is the second, which is a, a retest of the momentum high. And this is the final high. And the signature of three pushes to a high is a series of lower highs in terms of percent B. Here we're able to get outside of the upper band pretty easily. Here we're ba barely able to get back to the upper band. And over here we're not able to get to the upper band at all. So we wait for the first strong down day. That's here, and that's actually our entry day, our signal day. And you can see it led to quite a decline in Twitter. It actually is a, a decline that's still ongoing. So we use these different indicators in, in different ways to diagnose this top. The second piece that's really important here is bandwidth. And what we want bandwidth to do is turn down in the vicinity of this second push to a high. And that's exactly what we see here. So we want bandwidth to be expanding as the three pushes to a high formation builds and then to turn down on the second. And then finally we're going to use this supply demand indicator here, MFI, to determine whether the internal demand for this stock is diminishing over this time period. And we see a series of three lower peaks in MFI which confirms that the supply demand characteristics are steadily deteriorating across this top. So there you have it, three pushes to a high in eSignal 12 with the Bollinger Band Toolkit. We have Bollinger Bands themselves, percent B, bandwidth, and MFI, the Money Flow Index. Thanks for spending some time with me today. I hope you found my tutorial about three pushes to a high in relation to Bollinger Bands useful. If you're interested in the Bollinger Band Toolkit, you can visit us at BollingerBands.com. Just click on the BBTK, the Bollinger Band Toolkit button, for more information. And again, thanks for spending some time with me today.